Hey guys, it's time to unbox the Nokia 6 2018. The successor to the original Nokia 6, one of the most strongest smartphone designs ever, uh, built like a tank. So let's see what the newer tank offers. I gotta say, really nice packaging. We got the main specifications on the back, so it's still having a strong aluminum body. Snapdragon 630 processor, 5.8 inch 1080p HD display, 16 megapixel camera on the back, and dual side mode, which allows you to take selfie and a back camera photo at the same time. And it's actually an Android Android one power phone meaning that it will have the pure Android running like the pixel phones without any carrier stuff so let's just take out the plastic here and slide this bad boy out so first up of course we have the uh, warranty card let's see the phone okay it is up front as you can see wow just from this plastic I can say that it is still a tank of a phone and uh, there are some changes that we're gonna compare it to the older model, but let's see what is inside the box other than the phone. So there's a SIM ejecting tool. Lifting this one up, we got some paperwork. Nokia 6.1 Get Start Guide. And a small little box. Let's see, this one will probably have all the accessories. So we got the charger. Let's have a closer look. As you can see at the information, it probably supports fast charging. And we have the headphones. Of course, these are normal Nokia headphones. And this is... A Type-C cable, okay, so finally we have Type-C connector this time with the Nokia 6 2018 compared to the previous uh, USB 2.0 port uh, with the older model, so. All right, it's time to take a look at the tank itself, so let's uh, take this plastic off. There we go. Okay, so first impression and feel look-wise, I think this phone is probably the strongest of 2018, no doubt about that. The tank build is still here. It's all metal and it has that amazing goldish chamfered edges at the sides all over the phone. Even at the fingerprint scanner, you can see that. So it looks super, super attractive. Same thing with the power keys and the volume rocker. So props to Nokia for building another tank phone for us. So let's just quickly power this one up. And uh, as you can see, powered by Android One pure Android. I would love to see its performance. It's actually coming with a Snapdragon 630 processor. So compared to the older, I think it has Snapdragon 4 something generation. So you can see a uh, side-by-side look. Now we don't have the finger image scanner on the front, but still the bezel is big, a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. Top bezel and bottom bezel has gone smaller than the older model. And since the finger image scanner is no longer on the front, we have it on the back and it is at a a uh, very comfortable position below the camera sensor. And you can also notice that we have Carl Z's lens this time, a 16 megapixel camera that will perform much better compared to the older one. Thankfully, the headphone jack is still here and the bottom port is now Type-C instead of USB 2.0. They've also shifted the speaker place as well, but I remember the speaker was really good on this phone. All right, Kusham Deed. So it's in Urdu, just gonna change it to English and uh, let's go. All right, setting up the fingerprint scanner and we are done with the setup. Okay, really cool wallpaper. Uh, let's uh, first test out the fingerprint scanner speed. So, all right, one more time. Pretty fast actually. Unlocks instantly as soon as you put your finger. You can see we have pure Android free of any bloatware. I can definitely see that this phone will perform really, really good and I can't wait to put it against some of its competitors from Samsung especially. So let me know what speed test you guys want to see. So again, pure Android, just the way Google makes for their Pixel phone. So it's actually coming with the Android 8.0 Oreo version. I think the 8.1 version update is available. Again, I will connect to Wi-Fi later. But yeah, 8.0 Oreo is awesome. Got the February patch installed. I will definitely receive some update as soon as I connect it to Wi-Fi. Now this is a 5.5 inch 1080p display. It's an IPS panel, so the colors will be uh, different compared to the Super AMOLED or AMOLED panels that I mostly use. But still for this price and the mid-range category, I think it is a really good look looking display. You can see we got so few applications installed like it's not even 
five rows, like one, two, three. We still got a 3000 mAh cell, but it does support fast charging this time, so it's gonna be a good experience. You should be able to get a 50% charge in about 30 minutes. So one of the core updates compared to the previous model is indeed the camera. It is now updated, Carl Z's lens, f2.0 aperture, 16 megapixel resolution. You can see we got the pro mode to really take the manual control of your camera, where you can set stuff like ISO, white balance. Now swiping to the left will initiate the video mode. And finally, this phone can shoot videos all the way up to 4K. Let me show you the settings. By default, it's set to 1080p, so you can set it to 4K. It has a Snapdragon 630 processor, so it should be able to handle uh, the 4K video recording from back camera without any problem. And the front camera can shoot all the way up to 1080p. Now, I took some pictures outdoors, and I gotta say, this camera is pretty capable, takes some really good photos, and the 4K video recording also looks pretty decent. So overall, it's a good camera package for a $280 phone. And of course, phone does support micro SD card for storage expansion. So if you think the default 32 gigabyte is less for you, this is how much you're gonna get. So 20.35 gigabyte will be free and 36% will be used. We also have time-lapse features, slow motion video feature as well. So you can shoot slow-mo videos which is pretty nice and something you don't really see in this price range. So yeah guys, that's all with the Nokia 6 2018. The tank is back again. I will be doing a lot more videos, so make sure to subscribe on the channel and uh, let me know what speed tests, what videos you guys want to see. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.